Hey everyone and welcome back to Art of La Carte and in this video I decided to record a full painting in time lapse for you guys. Um, I didn't actually have a plan with this. This was just a trial. I was trying out a new technique. I was trying out some new products and then I decided to create a picture with it and I had no clue what actually really what I was painting. I had a kind of a inspiration but no clue for what how it would look um, and usually when I don't record them they turn out really cool like this galaxy owl picture or this picture I did a couple weeks ago um, and when I do record them they usually flop and look horrible so I decided to go ahead and do myself with this painting and record it and surprisingly I actually really like how this piece turned out there were many times that I thought I had just messed it up um, and I'll talk about those as I kind of get to those different parts, but it just proves that don't give up on a drawing, take a little break, come back, keep working on it. If you keep working, sometimes you can fix mistakes or turn mistakes into something good. And that's what happened with this piece. So first, before I really get into the painting, I want to talk about the background. Uh, there is a new product that I found at actually a scrapbooking store, which I was super excited about how it looked and I wanted to try it out and I've actually brought several videos on how to use it for scrapbooking but I hadn't seen it done with watercolor so I wanted to test it out and once I kind of run through all the tests that I want to do with it then I'll make a video on this actual product and I can't wait to show you some videos of how it just makes these beautiful backgrounds that are just stunning and gorgeous. I used the product to create this background and then decided that I wanted to paint something on top of it and I went through a ton of different sketches. In fact, I finished up an entire sketchbook that I had um, just doing some preliminary idea sketches on for what I wanted to create on this canvas. And finally, actually, I went with one that I didn't sketch up. I just took a reference photo of a girl. And actually, this photo, or the photo looks nothing like this painting either. But I got the inspiration from the photo and started creating. So first I just sketched it in very lightly with a blue cool erase color pencil and then began adding my Copic markers over top of it. And this is really tough watercolor paper and so it's not the best to use Copic markers with. I mean the Copic markers blend beautifully on it but the paper is so absorbent and so rough that I feel it just sucks up the ink so quickly that you really use two to three times as much ink on it but it really gives such a beautiful effect and you have to have this kind of thick paper to do the color burst with that uh, I it was either that or go back over top with watercolor or maybe acrylic but I really I like my I like my Copics so I wanted to use them and I also wanted to see how the Copics worked with this medium and again I really liked how they worked um, probably be looking for a video on that product within the next week or two. So after I did an initial sketch, I just went ahead and took a deep breath, jumped in and started applying in my colors with my Copics. And I wanted to really want to try to create a darker toned person. I tend to make my people really pale and white vampire <laughs> complexion. And I really wanted to push myself to not um, make them make her super white. I wanted to have her have a nice darker complexion. So I think it ended up a little bit darker than I normally have my complexion, but still it's not as dark as I want. And I know one of the main problems I have is I don't have all the skin tones that I need in my Copic collection. So as I slowly begin to build them up better, I'll be able to have more diversity in the types of skin tones that I have. But for right now, I really had fun um, adding in some more orangey tones and um, pinker tones to her face. And of course her hair was super fun. I decided to do just really some hot pink hair that would kind of pull out the pinks and purples in the actual background. I love her eyes. They're kind of this teal colored eyes and then I had some really fun adding um, some really deep um, eyeshadows as well. I actually ended up pulling in my Prismacolor color pencils to also put in um, some sh different tones and colors that I didn't have in my Copics that I was able to pull out with those and also with the dark spots on the paper it was really nice to have the color pencils pull out really good highlights as well. So this picture was just a lot about taking my time and not rushing it. 
um, and just going nice and slow and building it up. And again, still at this point, I have no clue what I am doing with this picture. No clue. I really like the gems in her crown. Um, they were fun to kind of create and add that fun dimension to them. And again, using the colored pencils to kind of help pop those out as well. So I got to a point in the drawing where I kind of thought it was done, but it only colored like a half of the actual paper. And I was kind of debating whether just to finish this um, and have it be finished and crop the paper down, or should I continue the character down? Because she really just faded out really nicely. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the rest of the paper. So what I always suggest, if you don't know what you want to do with your picture, leave it be and come back to it later. And so that's what I ultimately decided to do. I left it for a couple of hours, went and did some things and then came back and still hadn't really totally decided what I wanted to do with the picture. And so I decided it was either make it or break it. I liked what I had, but I really wanted to push myself to see if I could create something even more with it. And it would either end up destroying the picture or it would turn out really, really good. Did I have a plan? No, I didn't. I didn't have a plan at all what I was going to do. I just began creating some lines with my gel pen and trying to see if I could get her transparency to kind of come down into white, see how that looked. And that actually kind of looked really good. Um, but then I decided to like pull down some other colors and then I realized while I was pulling the pigment back in, it kind of was losing that transparent effect. So I was going to have to pull the color down through the whole thing. And that's this point is when I thought I had ruined the picture because it had looked really cool, but now I was like, oh, harsh, not so cool now. And I was really getting ready to be sad and wondering why didn't I take a really nice photo of it back when it was nice? At least I'd have a print of it. Um, but I didn't do that. Uh, so again, this is where the point where you just push through on your drawing, keep going and see what you can create. It can't get any worse than, you know, throwing it away, which was the point that I was at. I was like, it's ruined. I ruined my picture. And I think every artist thinks that. So if you're a beginning artist and you're always thinking you ruin your pictures, don't worry, because even artists that have been drawing for years, we think that too. We ruin our pictures. Um, but just don't give up on them. Sometimes you can salvage them. And I was able to salvage this one. So I just put on some really good music. I listened to a couple of uh, people live streaming their art videos, which is really fun. I enjoy listening to other artists work on their work while I work. Um, and just kept kept on keeping on and again there were times I'd make mistakes I'd put color in that was way too dark and I'd go why and then I'd have to darken everything up again and just yeah it was fun it was fun to kind of create with this because the canvas really lent itself to the imagination in fact when I was completely finished with that even finished signing it I was kind of stood up and looked at the picture and realized that the little green blobs up towards the back of her head kind of looked like leaves to me. And I thought, ah. And so I went back with a lighter shade color pencil and kind of added a little bit of highlight to pull them out to make them really look like leaves. And so I don't know. Uh, she has leaves in her hair. <laughs> so I came up with a name for her. Her name is Desiree. And I have no background story because I was just, I was too busy trying to figure out how not to let Desiree end up in the trash bin. Um, so if you have a fun story uh, about Desiree, let me know in the comments. What is her backstory? Because she's one of the few of my characters that does not have one. I don't know if she is like a genie or if she's like a fairy or an angel or what she is. So let me know what you think she is. Also, you can see in the very back here, I'm doing a splattering technique. I'm using my white Indian ink and just put some on my paintbrush and then hitting the paintbrush against something. Um, don't hit it against another pencil because you'll shatter your lead inside, but I was hitting it like on the backs of scissors and created a nice splattery effect. And so yeah, that is the final piece right here. I'm super, super excited about it. It was fun to do um, and it was a good learning process. So. I encourage you, get out there, 
draw something that you're not sure exactly what it is and see if you come up with something great. If you enjoyed this video and this piece, make sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that this is the kind of videos that you guys want to see more of. And you've been really, really great at this about letting me know the type of videos that you want. And so I'm going to be producing more of those types of content. So thumbs up for that. So if you'd like to see a close up view of this piece and all of her beauty, hit the link to my Etsy shop. You can see the original piece there until it sells. And if you want to pick up a print of Desiree, you can also pick one of those up while you're at my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.